Hey everybody, Mark well, Smith the Comics and I'm back. This time, I got this package in the mail from my buddy Jonathan. War Machine Punisher Comics and Collectibles. If you want to see what's inside, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you'll get it in a timely fashion. So, like I said, ended up getting this package in the mail from my buddy Jonathan. He ended up sending this my way. Uh, it's been sitting here for a few days. Didn't have a chance to open it, but got some today. So, I'm going to open it now and see what's inside. And I'm going to put the information down below for his IG and YouTube channels. So, feel free to subscribe and follow. It's a great community member known Jonathan for a little bit now and um, let's see what he has inside all right start off with the uh, the note all right it says Dave please forgive me for the packing peanuts <laughs> I hope you enjoy the figure that was really what I wanted to send you hope you are doing well and always appreciate support to my channel thank you Jonathan all right they put some packing peanuts in it here which uh, we all love near and dear <laughs> But all that matters is that the uh, package is uh, safe and sound. All right. There we go. All right. Oh. All right. So there's uh... uh Oh, I know what this is. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Oh, I remember, I remember laughing when I saw this because this is a very funny um, rendition of Moon Knight figure. This was from the uh, Marvel's Gold. And I remember Jonathan unboxing one. And I forget if it was Punisher or, um, or a different character. But I remember, and, and he, he told me that there was a Moon Knight one for this. And I didn't collect any um, figures back in the day. The only figures I used to collect when I was a kid were the... Um, the WWF, WWE characters from uh, wrestling in the 90s. So uh, those were like the um, action figures I had growing up as a kid. I've never had uh, superhero related action figures. So this is my first one. And of course, and it's fitting that it's uh, a Moon Knight. So I'll put this in here. And this is awesome. Marvel's Gold Collector's Edition. This came out in, what is this, 96, 90, 97. There you go. And it tells you a little bit about the character, which is really cool. Like some, you know, some stats, some info. Uh, first appearance, World of Night, 32. Real name, Mark Spector. So he's listed as 6'2", 225 pounds. Brown eyes, brown hair. Uh, if you're not familiar with his power set, it tells you right on here as well. He uh, possesses superhuman strength. Strength varies, obviously, by the uh, phases of the moon. Strongest at full moon, weakest at a new moon. Um, abilities. Moon Knight is an experienced fighter. Used to be a boxer, marine, and mercenary. Um, I think that's where you're going to see a little bit being portrayed in the Moon Knight series. He's also skilled in the use of a great variety of weapons. This is really cool. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. That's awesome. And uh, he also he threw in uh, what looks like some comics. So let's check this out. Also packaged really well. Got some painter's tape and some bubble wrap. All 
Oh, here we go. I think I can slide these out. Perfect. All right. So, first book that I pulled out. Oh, this is a cool book. And um, if you've not read this series, I highly recommend it. Um, Secret Wars 2, issue number 1. And uh, it says, Who is the Beyonder? So, um, this was, you know, the Beyonder is one of the um, you know, vi villains that I've been talking about for quite some time that he definitely has some potential in the uh, MCU coming forward. And, and, you know, lo and behold, they're gonna, um, the character is going to be in the... Um, uh, Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur series, but uh, yeah, definitely read this series. I think it's 10 or 11 issues, um, and it's it's really good, so definitely check it out if you haven't already. All right, uh, next one. Oh, it says double-sided. All right, cool. Nightwing, issue number 18, and Nightwing, issue number 14, and you can see here it is signed by... Uh, I believe this is the writer. Um, I want to say this is, it looks like Chuck Dixon. And uh, you can see in the bottom here it says Dixon as well. So I believe that's his first name, Chuck Dixon. This is really cool. I don't have any signed books by this uh, writer. So this is really nice. Thanks, Jonathan. And, uh, oh, we got a real early. Wow, this is cool right up my alley. Uh, he must know I like the uh, early Silver Age and Golden Age. So this is World's Finest, issue number 117. Says the Super Batwoman and the Super Creature. This is cool. I love the uh, sci-fi covers. This almost looks like this uh, sci-fi type of robot, type of dragon, or some type of creature really cool it's spitting out fire it's spitting out uh wind looks like it's doing well against uh superman and it says here at the top great scott batwoman has superpowers and she's using them to stop superman from fighting that fantastic creature very cool this is actually my first um world's finest issue i have in the in the collections this is really sweet very cool i don't know who the cover artist is but this is nice and then the last book, we got Batman, issue number 328. Another one I don't have in the collection. It says, uh, court found me guilty, well, found me not guilty of murder, but I did not. But I did kill the victim, and you'll never prove it, Batman. This is cool. It says, Double Jeopardy, a novel-length thriller. Very cool, very cool. This is a Joe Kubert cover. And it says, eight-page bonus story. Very nice. That's awesome. So I'll just do a quick recap. I got the Marvel's Gold, Moon Knight. There you go. Very cool. My first one. I got Batman issue number 328. World's Finest. 117 very cool nightwing 14 and 18 and they're signed by chuck dixon and secret wars 2 issue number one very cool thanks jonathan that was very nice of you um i guess i'm going to drop all the uh, details down below so you guys can subscribe and follow jonathan's channel and uh feel free to uh smash the like button if you like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Mark's Factor Comics, out.